Representative from Myrtle Beach. Today we are at Broadway at the beach. This is a huge shopping, dining, and entertainment district. We're going to show you the whole thing. We're going to do a full tour, walk around, show you absolutely everything, and also talk about what's new and what's coming soon. Hi, I'm Carmen. If you're new here, we cover everything Myrtle Beach and the surrounding area. And if you're a return viewer, welcome back. We are so glad to have you with us. So there's several different sections here at Broadway at the beach and they do have various names. Um, I can't remember the exact name of this one, but it's something like the Mediterranean section and they have different theming to the outside of the buildings depending on which section you are in. And as you can see, there's lots of shopping, lots of dining. It's really a fun place to hang out. We get asked a lot, you know, where can I go at night? Where's a fun place to bring my family? This is definitely it because there's really something for everyone here. Uh, we enjoy coming here. You know, we're locals now and we still enjoy coming here a lot. We come here pretty often. Uh, so definitely something that we would recommend. And if you have not been watching our videos, there are a lot of new things here this year, tons of things. Uh, we will show you those as we pass them on this consecutive tour. So here's Ron John's Surf Shop. We've got the nice fountain and they've added some seating. They've also been redoing the, this used to be sort of cement and now they have these nice bricks and pavers. So they've been doing a lot of updating to the look and feel of Broadway at the beach. It just keeps it fresh and nice. Also, I'll mention as an aside, they do a nice job keeping it clean here too. They actually, we come here early in the morning to walk sometimes and they power wash. They keep it looking really, really good. So they do have an escape room over here and a mirror maze. We've got extreme pizza over to this side. And then one of the big restaurants here is Landry's and they have seafood, but they also have other food as well. If you're interested in the restaurants at Broadway at the Beach, we have a video of the best restaurants here at Broadway at the Beach. I will link that in the description below. We actually go into each restaurant and we show you their menu and everything about it. So that is a really good resource if you are trying to decide where to eat while you're here. Uh, there are tons and tons of options. We also, in the playlist below, we have a playlist for the restaurants here at Myrtle Beach. And some of the ones here at Broadway are included in that list as well. So you can check that out on our channel. So coming up straight ahead is Wonderworks. And we actually recently put a video, a very recent video out of Wonderworks. So if you're curious what's inside, check out our video. I'll link that in the description below. Just want to stop here and take in this view real quick. It is a beautiful view. They do have zip lines right here that run across the lake so if you're into zip lining you can definitely check that out they have that outdoor ropes course over there and you'll see it if you watch the video but wonderworks also has a ropes course inside now as we're walking around broadway at the beach uh, one tip that i have is the parking is free uh, that's not the tip <laughs> the parking runs all the way around broadway at the beach so if you have mobility issues you don't have to worry about having to walk everywhere. You can actually drive around the perimeter and park near whatever you're interested in because the total distance around Broadway, if you do a full loop, is over one mile uh, across. So it does take a while to go a complete loop. Wow, big line to get into Wonderworks today. It's such a beautiful day today, beautiful weather. Um, definitely people are out enjoying uh, this gorgeous day here at Broadway. It's a good time for it. So coming up straight ahead, this building you see that's still, they're still doing a little work on. They have been redoing this entire section. Uh, totally new facade on this section. We'll show you more of that in just a minute. But I want to take your attention over to the right and talk about the rides over here. So this is Pavilion West. We've got, of course, the beautiful Ferris wheel. I mean, that you can see that from miles away. We do get questions whether this Ferris wheel or the sky wheel is bigger. The sky wheel is on the Myrtle Beach boardwalk. If you're not familiar with it, it is quite a bit bigger than this Ferris wheel. But this Ferris wheel is a fun, fun ride. 
Uh, we have ridden this ride, definitely recommend it. It's fun for everyone in the family. And you've got these nice sort of enclosed cars, so it's not, you know, like a thrill ride. It's just a pleasant ride. They also have a few kid-friendly rides over on the side, like the classic carousel. They've got a smaller drop tower over here. It's not a super tall one. You've got these seaside swings. There's also the Myrtle Turtle in the background. That is a kiddie coaster, trains, and the Scrambler. So lots of different things, uh, family-friendly rides over on this side. We're gonna show you some more extreme thrill rides when we get to Pavilion Central. So over in this section right here, this is where they are doing the most work in changing the facade, the outside of these buildings. And so the stores are still open. They're just doing a lot of work to make the outside look really nice. Um, and so that's part of what I was talking about where they just constantly improve things because they also just recently redid the um, ground here as well with this nice brickwork. So they are definitely constantly making improvements. And in this section, you can tell they're still doing work. Uh, so you saw what it's going to look like behind us. Over here is the Grumpy Monk. The Grumpy Monk is definitely a place we recommend and they have some seating outside on the lake. Uh, so that's nice. They have burgers. They have, I think it's like 33 craft beers on tap and that rotates. And they have sushi, uh, fresh made sushi. So that's definitely a good place to check out. I love their burgers, really, really good burgers. And uh, I think Brian enjoys their seafood as well. So good place, depending on what your tastes are, you could probably find something there. But like I said, so, they, so you can see these stores are open. Uh, if you're willing to walk under a ladder, I know some people are superstitious about that. So you can still get in these stores even while they do the work on them. Lots of work going on. There's the Broadway T-shirt company. Uh, there are tons of gift stores here if you were looking for that special gift, but there's also a lot of other types of stores. I'm gonna come over here to show you this. This is the grand opening of Coastal Outfitter in their new location. I'll just stick my head in real quick um, since this is new. They did have a location here already. It was much smaller though. This is huge and they have done just a great job with this. It looks really nice on the inside. So you can definitely check that out when you're here if you're interested. Nice store, really did a, a great job. Here's Social Coffee. It's one of the two coffee shops here. And so if you're looking for your caffeine fix, that's definitely a place to check out. There's also a Starbucks here. We'll show it to you when we get there. Now we're to, I believe this is a, like a New England themed section in this area. And so all kinds of shops. You got Savannah Bee Company, Bird's Famous Cookies, which is fairly new. So right over there, you can see the old location of Coastal Outfitters. It was a small, small shop. One of our favorite stores, Retroactive. We're gonna see another Retroactive during this tour. And that is actually the one we like because this is the 90s and the 2000s and the other one is the 70s and 80s. So that's, that's what we like. And you got a Build-A-Bear workshop here. This whole central area has just been completely redone where this clock is. It looks so nice. It looks way better than it used to. And the big benefit now is you can walk straight through. It used to, it was sort of like a maze to get through here. We've got the mole hole, it's sugar and quiet storm, but we wanna go over here and show you Pavilion Central where the thrill rides are. They also have some family friendly rides, but it's more of a thrill ride section. And they got this really lovely fountain here. And if you're wondering, the rides actually open in like 30 minutes, so they're not open right this second, so that's why they're not moving. Uh, they'll be open soon. And they have different hours, different times of the year, so always check their website or call ahead if you're interested in that. But they've got the Beast, which is that big swinging arm ride. They've got a Himalaya-style ride called Rock and Roll. They've got the slides. They've got Speed XXL there in the background. You've got classic swings, and then you have like a Superman style ride and also an outdoor Gravitron type ride if you're familiar with those rides. So that's where you wanna go if you're interested in the thrill rides. You can either pay per ride, or I believe they do have some type of wristband situation for riding multiple rides. Um, so you can check into that at their ticket booth when they're open, um, but it's a lot of fun. Brian loves the Beast. That's one of his favorite rides. 
and he also likes Speed XXL and you can see the ocean from Speed XXL. That's how high, high up it goes. Uh, if you're curious, we are a little over a mile from the ocean here. We're not that far uh, from the ocean. And also in the summer months, the, I believe it's RTA is the name of it. The bus system here actually has in the summer a shuttle it's either $1 or free. They keep, it's $1 currently or the last time they were open, but they keep talking about changing it to free. We'll see this summer what it ends up being. But in any case, it's an entertainment shuttle and it runs from the hotels on Ocean Boulevard, uh, you know, certain part of it. Uh, and it does stop up here at Broadway at the beach as of last year it did. And so you can check that out by checking that out on Google. It's on their website and that only runs during the summer months. So it's not a year round option, but it does give you a good way to get to Broadway at the beach. If you are staying down by the ocean, which I think is what most people do when they come here. So just keep that in mind as an option. Got Sweet Caroline's is a restaurant right here and Sweet Molly's Creamery. Got a kite store, Christmas store. We love Christmas year round. So Christmas at the beach is always a fun thing. And this photo up here with the dinosaurs is always very popular. There's always someone getting their picture made here. It's a lot of fun. We are sweet. Oh, and pick a pearl. That's fun. That's where you, you know, go in and try to pick your own pearl. It's pretty cool. Tiki Gems is a huge gift shop, really big. So again, if you're looking for a souvenir or a gift or a t-shirt, they have a lot of t-shirts, that kind of thing. Got a cats and dogs store. If you have any questions at all, that looks fun. Look at that pineapple drink, yum. If you have any questions at all about Broadway, just leave them in the comments below. We will be happy to do our best to answer them. Anything that we know about, we will definitely share with you. You've got the Simpsons 40 Theater and Joe's Crab Shack up here. Uh, we've got a video of Joe's, like Joe's. And uh, the Simpsons 40 Theater is a motion ride. And the, if you're a big Simpsons fan, but you don't want to do the motion ride, definitely recommend going in the Quickie Mart. The Quickie Mart is their gift shop, but it is incredibly well themed, just like the Quickie Mart, just like what you would expect. And they have the squishies, they have the Lard Lad donuts, all kinds of fun things from the Simpsons. So that is free, you just go in and browse. Definitely recommend that if you're a fan. And then Zero Gravity 2.0 is coming back for this season. Uh, it's already started up again. And so that's something to check out if you would like to see that show. You know, it's a Cirque type show. They call it Le Grand Cirque. It's not Cirque du Soleil, but you know, it's a similar type show. And that's in the Broadway Theater. Now we are actually coming up to a new section. Uh, it's, they've been building this over several years, but some of the things here are completely new. Some have been here for a year or two. So we're gonna go through this section a little bit different, a little slower so we can show you what they have here. So first of all, let's talk about Pop Stroke. Uh, despite the giant hangout hand, hangout's a little further down. Uh, Pop Stroke is what we're coming up to first on the right. We do have a detailed video on opening day. We went to the grand opening of Pop Stroke and I will link that in the description below. So you can check that out if you'd like to see what it looks like on the inside. But Pop Stroke is a brand new uh, putt putt or mini golf, whatever you'd like to call it. Um, but it is more geared towards people who are really into golf as opposed to, I'm not saying the family can't enjoy it too, but uh, my understanding is it's a little bit harder. They do have a section that's more family friendly and another course that's less family friendly, I guess more difficult, more challenging. And they also have inside restaurants, multiple bars. Um, it's, it's really a pretty amazing complex. So I definitely recommend checking that out, uh, checking that other video out if you're interested. Uh, during the main season, it is $30 per person, but it's all day putting. So you can play as many times as you want. In the off season, that drops to $25 as of the time of this recording, always check. This building right here is brand new. It does not even have a business in it yet. We will let you know what is coming there as soon as we know. Over on the left is the hangout. It is a huge dining, 
uh, bars. They also have an amphitheater. I'll show you the amphitheater in a minute. Here's Mulligan's Golf. They moved from a different location at Broadway, and I guess they wanted to be right here in front of Pop Stroke. You can't beat that location for them. So lots of people out enjoying Pop Stroke. So let's look over here real quick. Here is the Hangouts Amphitheater. You can see it right there in the distance. They do have shows and live music depending on the time of the year. You can check their website for a schedule. And then this huge building is their building. Uh, it's a very festive environment. Um, in there, uh, so it's if you're wanting quiet, that's it's not the place for you. But if you want to have some fun, I think you definitely would there. The guest services has moved to over here. Uh, this section, by the way, is called the Key West Shops, and that's the theme. You got Insomnia Cookies, and then they are not open yet. But this building, this uh, sort of peach colored building, that is going to be the Pineapple Hut, and they are going to have pineapple soft serve and some other treats. Uh, my understanding is it's vegan, gluten-free, and dairy-free. Uh, don't quote me on that. You'll need to check their website. They are already located in Charleston, so they're opening a location here. We will try it as soon as it's open. There is the Starbucks that I mentioned previously, so it's over here in the news section. This building also does not have an announced tenant yet. We will let you know what is coming there. And then the business that was right here was the flip-flop shop. They pulled out, so we'll let you know what replaces that. And then down at the end, we have Teal Nation. And then we have the beautiful classic carousel. This was from the pavilion. Uh, if you don't remember the pavilion, it was a huge amusement park in Myrtle Beach. And they were able to preserve this carousel here. See it right there? It says pavilion and carousel. So, so glad they did that, So because that's a... A really old carousel, a beautiful, beautifully done. So now we are actually walking by the Hampton Inn. The Hampton Inn is a great place to stay. We have stayed there multiple times. We've stayed both facing the lake and facing the other way. And we have videos on that on our channel. You can check it out under our hotel and resorts playlist. And we definitely recommend it. We have enjoyed every time we've stayed there. It's a good place to stay. You got access to everything at Broadway at the beach. And like I said, you're only a little over a mile from the actual beach. Um, so especially if you have a car, it would not be too big of an issue to stay here. Or if you're staying here when it's a little cooler and you don't really want to just sit on the beach all day, then you would have access to all this entertainment. Uh, so definitely a good option. Coming up straight ahead is a new uh, entertainment option. Uh, right over there, we got Blondie's and Cold Stone. But I'm talking about the one to the left, this sort of circular building on the end here. This is the escape game. So it's another escape room option here. And so if you're into that, definitely check that out. I will show you their little code there so you can actually freeze this and scan that if you'd like to see their schedule. But there is their building. So that's pretty neat. And that just opened uh, later last year. So that's pretty near. And then Margaritaville is a huge restaurant with some amazing theming inside, especially if you're a Jimmy Buffett fan. And they also have the Landshark Bar and Grill out here. Uh, so definitely, I mean, I'm sorry, not Landshark, Sandbar. They do also own Landshark, but this one's the Sandbar uh, Bar and Grill. But uh, it definitely has some amazing theming. They have, you know, a hurricane will go off occasionally. I have a giant blender. So lots of fun stuff in there. Then we also have quite a few things over here in the shade. Come over here so you can see it. Beef jerky, beach winery, Southern Grill. So again, you can see there are so many food options here, so many. And then you've got Earthbound. You've got an old time photos at the end. And by the way, these Broadway visitor information um, You'll see several of those around. Those are not guest services. So if you want guest services, you need to go over to the Key West area I showed you. That's actually proper guest services. Uh, those are not guest services. Um, they're probably, <laughs> they're gonna offer you a map, but probably try to sell you something. So just to, just to warn you. And then in the summer, Broadway will usually have entertainment over here. Uh, sometimes they move it to other areas there, but it looks like they're set up again to probably have it here this summer with the chairs and the umbrellas. And then this entire building in front of us 
is the dinosaur attraction. I'll show you the front where you go in. Uh, you don't want to go in over here. These doors are not open. Um, I guess at some point they had this set up for individual stores, but it ended up being they, they just put one giant attraction in it. So we'll go take a look at the front of that. So looking back, you get a better view of the Hampton Inn. There's the outside area for Margaritaville. And then there's that amphitheater for the hangout. Uh, so there's a different vantage point right here. Also, they have some little games and stuff for kids at the hangout area and this little sand and little tubes for them to climb through. So there's definitely family friendly things there. And you've got the outdoor seating over here that you've got a better view of. So here's dinosaurs. Here's the entrance that I mentioned. And so this is a, definitely a kid-friendly attraction, especially if they are into dinosaurs. And then in just a minute, we're gonna walk around and we will be at the front of Ripley's Aquarium. Here's the other side of Ripley's. We're about to walk around to the front, but I wanted to give you some perspective. So there is a bridge that crosses right here that would take you to the Broadway Theater. And then looking straight across, there's another bridge that connects the Pavilion Central area to, we haven't gotten there yet, to the avenue. So we'll show you that when we get there. I just wanted to give you a perspective and show you that there are places to cut across so you don't have to go all the way around the lake. Here at Ripley's Aquarium, they have a lot to offer. This is not an ad for them. We love them. We have an annual pass that we pay for with our own money, uh, so we don't go for free. We really enjoy it. They, in addition to what I would consider more traditional aquarium offer, offerings, they also have a penguin exhibit. They have a brand new sloth exhibit and they have a shark tunnel that you walk under. So you're like under the water. It's, it's really neat. I really think it's fun. I think it's definitely a fun for the whole family option. I'll show you what the front looks like. You can buy your tickets online. Do you want to mention they have some pretty amazing discounts for teachers, for military. Um, so definitely if you're first responder, if you are any of those categories, definitely ask about discounts, but you can avoid these lines by buying your tickets online. And then you go in right over there. Really a lot of fun. We, we totally enjoy it and recommend it. Got the fun penguin guy out there. Beautiful view from here of all of Broadway for sure. So now we're going to go down this section right here. I, I'm sure this has a theme, but <laughs> I don't know what it is. They're, they're just brick uh, with tin roofs. But uh, they've got a silver shack, lots of silver jewelry in there. And then I'll go over here in the shade so we can see a little better. Nice view there, really pretty. You got Palmetto Paradise. Splash. Got the t-shirt connection. Also, while we're walking here, what is your favorite thing to do here at Broadway at the Beach? Leave that in the comments and let us know. We'd love to hear from you and find out what's your favorite thing if you like to come here what do you like to do most? Do you shop? Do you eat? And if so, what are your favorite places to do so? Here's Smoky Mountain Handmade Knives. Sandal and Sun, or sorry, Sand and Sun. I'm sitting there looking at the picture of the sandals. Designer sunglasses, cellular accessories, and then here's our retroactive that we love, the, the 70s and 80s, a lot of fun. They've got a lot of really cool stuff inside. Memorabilia, all types of pop culture, really cool. There's what that looks like inside. Got a Ben and Jerry's. And then a large restaurant here is Paula Dean's Family Kitchen. Uh, it's two stories and the dining where you sit is upstairs with those big windows. So you're gonna get this nice view here. And then we've got another gift store coming up, up here on the right and also Frappa Joe. This is Krabby Jack's General Store. It's a pretty good size gift shop, so definitely something to check out again if you're looking for that souvenir. It says they've also got candy drinks and cold beer, so all kinds of stuff in there. And there's Frappa Joe. If you're looking for an umbrella pineapple drink, they definitely have those here. There's a couple of locations to get those. And then they do have a playground for your little ones here. 
Uh, so if they want to burn off some energy and have them run around a bit, you can definitely do that with some nice shady benches when it's hot. So that's definitely cool. Got toys of Soros. And stupid company. <laughs> They've got kind of funny t-shirts and stuff. And low country popcorn, which smells really, really good, by the way. And here's some more pineapple <laughs> drinks. Like I said, there's lots of those. So when I talked about this, this is coming soon. We've got a ice cream cookie sandwiches. And my understanding is they bake all their cookies in house. That is the location that used to be the fudgery. There is still a fudgery on the other side of the lake that we passed. Uh, so that is still there. So if you want fudge, that is still available. But soon we are going to have a new ice cream cookie shop. So that's exciting. Here's Ride Makers. So that's where you make a custom remote control car. So it's like a Build-A-Bear type situation, if you're familiar with that. And now we are getting close to what's known as the Avenue. The Avenue has a lot of what I would call bar restaurants, restaurant bars, whatever you want to call them. And a lot of at night sort of more festive, entertaining uh, type options. So we'll show you all those. Here's Roosters as a restaurant. It is, it's hours are unusual. Um, it's sometimes it's open, sometimes it's closed. You'll have to call them or check their website to find out. This is where the old Johnny Rockets was. Not sure what's coming in there yet but lots of other food options. So you've got Charlie's and they have some lakefront seating. Senior Frogs also has some lakefront seating. You've got Fat Tuesday. And then one we enjoy is the Hard Rock Cafe. They have some great memorabilia inside. Also, the, I really like the food. I love their burgers. You've got American Tap House. And so this is specifically what they call the avenue here. You've got wall burgers over to the right. That's obviously burgers and they also have a few other things. Uh, but almost all these places here have bars inside. I think they all do. Um, so at night, this turn, a lot of times they'll have entertainment down here at the end in front of Dave and Buster's and it becomes very festive. Here's Crocodile Rocks, that's a dueling piano bar. And then over here to the right was the NFL experience that has closed down. No word yet on what's moving in there. We'll let you know. And then towards the end, you've got Bar Louie on the left. And there's actually a couple of things around each corner that I'm going to show you as well. You've got uh, Charles Bach Wonders Theater. Great magic show. We highly recommend it. We have a video. I'll link that in the description below. You want to check that out. And then Dave & Buster's here on the end, which is a lot of fun. It's a huge, huge, huge arcade. They have a dining restaurant, bar, uh, pool, pool tables, you name it. But just about any game related thing, they've got it. So we're gonna go over here and show you the two items that are sort of hidden around the corner because you won't want to miss them. Over here, you've got Melt. They've got wood-fired pizza, sandwiches, that kind of thing. And then over here, we've got something brand new that's not even open yet, but we've got, they've got their signs up. So I'm going to share that with you right past Bar Louie here. Right over here is Voodoo Brewing. Like I said, they are not open quite yet. We'll keep you posted when they do open. They already have a location in Merle's Inlet, but now they are opening a new location uh, and they are going to be brewing their beer in-house. So that's another option for a beer. If you'd like to learn more about Myrtle Beach, be sure to click on the video that's on your screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.